plus Uncommon Fossil, and they continue with Magic the Gathering Arena's new player experience, uh, continuing with uh, Jump In Games. When I completed Tier 4 of Spark Rank, that's the lowest tier, it gave me three Jump In tokens and wanted me to play some, to use those three Jump In tokens. After I finished the third game, it gave me two more tokens, and then the challenge became, or what it wants me to do, is complete five Jump In events. So I am now back, so I've now played my fourth game and I'm about to do my fifth game. So I hit re resume here. I've already won with this deck. So I always want to try to get the one win. You get an uncommon or better. Like for one of them, I, I was upgraded to a, uh, a rare, I believe. So that was quite nice. But after that, you can keep playing if you want. You won't get any more, uh, any re more rewards in particular. So I'm just gonna resign. And I need to also um, to use up, do five jumping events. And just playing the same deck over and over again is the same event. It's not a separate event. So I will pay. You can pay with, with gems. You can pay with gold or tokens. I have the token. I'll use it. Um, and we'll. I'll talk once I've unlocked everything more about jumping because it is an important part of the game. Okay. So I, I. One of the things I recommend is having a list of the jump in packets you've grabbed. It's it's a good way to build your collection. But you want to keep drafting the same packs over and over again. So I've already seen that I've gotten duplicate packs offered to me. So generally, I'm just going to grab one of packs I haven't gotten before. I would like to get packs from the newest set also, I will say. I don't believe any of these are fit that, as I have a list of the new names. And no, they're not. And they, based on visually, they don't look like it. Uh, generally, the green decks I don't love, but maybe green is a good way to go. And so you can grab it, it. It shows you it's a vermin, it's muscle, it's rooted. It tells me what the what the mana types are, and then shows me one creature. And I think I'm going to go with green and black. I'm going to write down the name of my list. It is vermin. Is this half of the deck, which is a 20 card pack, including lands. And then I add with one of these other ones. And then graveyard is from the new set. And uh, oh, slime against humanity. I never got that. Was a rare one a less common one and I think I want to grab that it's a weird one it's um I think I want to grab that one just it's kind of a fun one is what I would say um so I'm going to just make enough slam against humanity because that one you don't get as often I don't think so I will whoops do that confirm pick and then I want to take a look at the deck before I play um I, I'm not going to go through it in detail here in the video, but I'll probably look at it a little more closely before I start the game. Um, I, I always click the little tab just to see. So um, the average mana cost is 2.6, so not too bad. There's only, only six creatures, which isn't that much. 16 land, a number of sorceries, sorceries at nine. So um, And you can kind of see the mana curve. No four or five cost creatures at all. So a lot of threes, right? Um, and kind of one of the things you notice, there's seven slime against humanities, and normally you can't have more than four of a card, but slime against humanity says at the bottom of the text, a deck may can have any number of cards named slime against humanity. So it's kind of fun. Um, I'll just read what this one says here. You create a, when you play it's a, a sorcery, you, play, you create a zero, zero green ooze to creature token with trample, Trample is nice. You put a 1-1 one, one counter on it where X equals 2 plus the total number of cards you own in exile and in your graveyard that are oozes or are named slime against the humanity. So, so it will uh, it builds up. You want a ton in your deck, right? So kind of a fun card to have there. So I'm going to just pause the video probably, and I'm just going to take a look through the deck here. I all right, so I finished taking a look through the cards in the deck, just getting a sense of what the deck will do. Hopefully it, it works well. Um, I, I, you know, I'm not sure. I, Slam Against Humanity is kind of a fun pick. I don't know if it works well, uh, it, you know, in a mixed deck. You'd like it to be more focused on Slam Against Humanity, but we'll see how this, this goes. Um, I actually haven't played Slam Against Humanity before. That's why I wanted to grab it. So I get a free mulligan here if I want. Um... That's not bad, though, right? It's not bad. Okay. So I can cast. So I can't. I'm not going. So I'll enter, and I surveil one. Um, oh, yeah, I want.
I think I want to, want to be able to play it. I, I, having him in the graveyard is good too, though, right? So that's a little tricky, right? Maybe I should have just dumped it in the graveyard. Um, that might, Maybe that was the better play. Um, it would have made my, my first line against the humanity stronger. So maybe that was a mistake there. All right, drop him. Um, oh, it's an equipment, but... Okay, get yeah, a creature in play. It gives me block. He has reach, and if he blocks for reach, he gets two more. So it becomes a 3-3 three, three if blocking, uh, utilizing reach. Now, if it blocks without reach, it, it only does one damage. So just that, it, you know, kind of an interesting aspect to the card. Excuse me, y'all. So basically, I mean, spiders are the creatures that have reach. That seems to be the way it works, right? They have long legs. They have spiders that go up in the air. I mean, the webs, right? I guess go in the air. So, okay, my opponent. Um, drop the slime against humanity down. Um, I'm not going to tax because he's, he's a blocker by his nature, right? And I want to save him to be able to block. So I will play my, this other slime against humanity next turn. Um, and I actually could even play this equipment if necessary. Um, I might want to equip the my ooze. I'm not certain. Uh Instant. Okay. Um, play my land. Make that play. It, it's just counting up. All right, so I'm going to... I'm going to toss him. I can't use him yet this turn, so I'm not going to attack. But I got the rope in play. I will attach it next turn to um, probably to the to, to one of my oozes. I probably do the three three ooze, right? Might as well do that. Make him a four five ooze, and then we'll see what happens here. I don't know if I'll get to drop my bone rattle, and I need another land to play for. I can do that one. No, I need two more lands, so I don't know that that's going to happen. So I have a small hand. My opponent's got a bigger hand. They have less cards in play. So um, slime against humanity is, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. See how it goes. I am. I'm look. I do like attaching that equipment this next turn, and uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, put it putting the the counter there, which makes a ton of sense. Um, and they can tap other creatures and make him stronger as well. They just the the, the soldier token, right? For I, I'm not going to block them. So you know, depending on what they want to do, they could block with the soldier. The soldier will get killed, but um, so they're not going to tap there. Okay, I, I that might be done. They might have passed that that phase. Now, why did they do that? Um. You gonna attack with the token? No. Okay. So I don't want to block. I mean, I could have like. All right. So what do I have here? Oh, I have another slime against humanity. That's super nice. Whoops. So a four four. Oh, now I can't do that. But. So I think I attack with all three, right? They, these are just one ones, and I'll do all attack and see what they do. I, at this point, they can't knock me out. They, so yeah, they're just gonna let me pass through because I just I wipe them out if they try to block. It, it reduces some damage, but um, you know they're, they're at 15 life. I'm at 17. It's not like the like like the game's getting away from them. So I think that, that that's fine for them. Um. So we'll see what happens here. I do have, let's see, I can kick. Oh, I need the water to kick it. That's why the water, I only have the one water, one land that can produce water though. So I probably can't ever kick it, right? So it gets minus two, minus two, a target creature. So 
I mean, I can like knock out one of these. Uh... Okay, well that 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 tapping is kind of nice for them. That lets them really just attack away. Um. Okay, Let's see what happens here. I kind of do like this land, so I will t drop this land in. Um, this is an instant, right? So I think I want to... I'm going to assume I'm not going to get the, the water into play, so I will just wipe out this guy here. He gets minus two, minus two, right? So I'll just knock him out. I will attach here. I want to equip three. That's what I want to do. Just make this guy super... Uh, I'll, I'll do the number two guy. Um, and I will... I'll attack, right? Yeah, so this is not pretty close to winning here, I think, right? I should win this next turn. I don't think they're going to win on their turn. Obviously, if they can do that, well... And obviously, I don't win. Then I lose. But unless they can win this turn, I they're going to be hard pressed, though, right? And if they sit back to kind of to hold me off from winning this next turn, they're probably in a spot where I'm just kind of just getting better and better. It depends what I draw. At this point, I, I a land is great because then I can play him down, and um, so I, when I cast him, I choose a, a creature from a graveyard, return it to the bat, to the battlefield. Okay, so I'll see what my options are. All right, well, they're getting a few creatures in, so making it so I probably can't win this next turn. Um, so they're going to hit through, just attack. Um, that might actually cost them the game, too. What is this, sorcery? Uh, what's this guy do? I can... So I think I just want to attack, right? I'll attack and attack. The thing is, they have to block both of them, right? Or they lose, I think, right? That, that's where it's at. So they, they, they look, they can make it difficult on me, but I think I'm okay. Um, they have to block both, right? Or are they just lose? Because I'm doing four with either creature, so. Um, they're, I'm gonna, they're going to lose both their creatures, um, but uh, you know we're both getting towards the end. I mean, potentially, if this goes differently, oh, okay. So I had trample. I didn't quite. Um, all right. I could re-equip him. Maybe I should move him over. Right. Um. Let's think. I, I sit three, four, five. I don't. Uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, I just need to get one blow through. That's all I need, right? They're both creatures have trample. That's very nice. Um, I think I win next turn. I don't know what they're sitting on. The way it is right now. Okay, well, that's pretty nice there for them. So. Okay. See what they do here. Uh, they kind of have to sit back, though, right? Um, they can, so they're gonna attack with him, and I that actually might cost them game. Let me just look at this. Um, okay, no blocks, which is which is what I don't want to block. I just let him hit through, and I think at this point. Let's see, I exile. Um, might as well just let's see what what can I, what, I, what can I exile? I will do the kicker. Might as well exile him. I think that just guarantees me. I think I had game anyway, and I will just all attack right. Unless they can stop everybody, I just win. And any any one creature getting through wins me the game. So um, we knock each other out, but I, I knock him on. He has trample, so he he wins himself. And yeah, so 
minus six and got the win there. So worked out. Slime against humanity worked worked quite well. So I'm glad I grabbed. I, I definitely this is a pack that I would like to grab some more of because since you can play a whole bunch of them in your deck. So, okay, so what did I get? So my new reward, I got a quick draft token, which is really important as, as a budget player. Uh, learning to draft is a very important skill, and something that I need to improve on a lot. So I'm um, certainly glad to get that reward uh, for sure. And then I claim my card also. You got to hit claim to get that. The, the, the claiming the reward is a little odd. So, okay, new card there. I, I, I could resign, but there's no reason to resign. I'll probably just resign later on. So I'll go back to the home screen before I wrap up here. Just take a look. So I have a quick draft token, which is very good. Not going to do that right now. Um, so now it wants me to... They only do, oh, so that game wants me to complete three quick drafts. Quick, quick drafts aren't super cheap. So I'm assuming they're going to give me more quick draft tokens as things go along. So very interesting there. So... Um, all right, so I think it looks like I'm done with the jump-ins, and it looks like I'm going to work on quick, quick drafts next, which is nice. They, they are a little bit longer, so I have to make sure I have a bit of time when I sit down to play those, but I, I'm very pleased about that. So the, the fact that they're introducing new players to quick drafts is super, it's super important. It's a very important thing to know in the game, and I'm very pleased they're doing it. It is more expensive, but getting people used to it early, I'm pleased to see that. So anyway, finished off the jump-ins, and I think I'm done with that in the new player experience. On to quick drafts, and I still have to finish up uh, getting out of the Spark Rank tiers. Take care.